Woo-hoo! Aloha, my friends. It's uh, Tuesday. So, happy Tuesday. Are you ready to learn some uh, some array functions? <laughs> Let's go ahead and mute. Looks like I have me replaying on another screen over here. All right. So let's get ready to learn. And what are we going to learn today? We're going to learn one of Excel's newest functions to help us work with arrays. It's called the expand function. And what it does is exactly what the name says. It expands our arrays. Because sometimes you want to compare arrays like this one. Check it out. Nowadays, you find yourself working with a lot of data, right? And maybe you just want to take a little bit of this data and a little bit of this data and put it together and compare it. And then sort it and analyze it so you can do that easily with excel's new newest functions the array functions array functions are really cool because you just type the function in one spot and you don't have to copy it all over the place it just expands it spills over we're learning the expand array function that does a spill <laughs> all right so here we go check out the spreadsheet that i got right over here and I don't always have spreadsheets for you to follow along with. I'm going to do a class where I'm going to teach you how to generate your own spreadsheets. But um, if you want to practice, go ahead and join. Don't get mad. Get skills. I got all the spreadsheets there. And it's real, real simple. I'll explain to you in just a moment. But first, what we want to do is we got an array function that we want to use because we want to compare this array of data that we have, this table that we have right there, these are our new customers. And we're still missing some salary information for our new customers. Here we have our current clients. And our current clients, we have all the information, the first name, last name, company, and salary. So what I've got here is I got a table. When I click in that range of data, you'll notice that we have right up here a contextual tool tab called design. So contextual tool tabs only appear based on the context that you are in. So if I click outside of that table, the table design contextual tool tab is gone. Click back into the data and there's your contextual tool tab. Contextual tool tabs only appear based on the context that you are in. So that's why I'm always saying one of the first things that I teach in my Excel basics class is to keep your marquee in the data. And if you're wondering what a marquee is, come on now. You got to take one of my Excel basics class. So here we have this table. We know that it's called uh, it's called members, just so you know. And I want to take this table right here, and I want to stack it with this range of data right here, and then I want to compare them, analyze it. So because this array here is smaller than the current client's array, the current clients includes the salary column, I'm going to expand this array from a three-column array into a four-column array. And then we're going to stack the current client's info right there, and then we're going to sort it however you want. So put your marquee in cell E2. Still don't know what a marquee is? <laughs> you just got to go to don'tgetmadgetskills.com and go right over here to live classes, live classes. Click on Excel Basics and sign up for one of these Excel Basics classes right here. They're five bucks, okay? It's $265 training. I'm giving it to you $5 because that's how important it is that you learn Excel. So now let's get back to expanding. So I'm going to press Control F1 to hide my ribbon. And here we go. Start typing my formula equals EXP. Now, you got to know that this is a brand new array function. So if you're not seeing it, if you're typing equals EXP, whoops, EXP, and you're not seeing you're not seeing the expand function. It's because it hasn't really been released yet. You have to be in the beta channel. So how do you do that? We'll check out the file tab in Excel. When you're here in the file tab, go to your account information. And here in your account information, 
you want to join the Office Insider program. See, I'm signed up for the beta channel. There's two channels. I believe one is called the preview channel and the other one's the beta channel. The beta channel is for those of you that want to try out all the newest and latest tools and features in Excel. And, you know, maybe they work really good. Maybe they don't work quite so good, but you're willing to chance it. So when you're signed up for the beta channel, you're going to have access to the newest, latest formulas. And these functions here, I said formulas, I meant functions. These functions, these array functions are brand new. There was like 13 of them released just a couple months ago. So remember, the only way you're going to be able to use these functions right now as they roll them out slowly is to go to your account settings in Microsoft 365 and go to Office Insider right here and sign up for the beta channel. And then you'll have access to these functions as they roll them out. So let's go right ahead. Our marquees in cell E2 equals EXP. There's the expand function. Let me go ahead and tab right into it. And here we see that you've got two required arguments, two optional arguments. I'm going to press Shift F3. Okay, Shift F3. And what Shift F3 does is it launches my function arguments dialog box. So press Shift F3, and there's a function arguments dialog box for this particular formula or this particular function. We're writing a formula using this function. We're programming. This is programming. A lot of you don't realize that when you're writing formulas in Excel, you're programming. So if you're thinking, oh, I got to learn Python because I'm really getting into business analysis, data analysis, and everybody's using Python, I got to learn how to code. You've been coding already. If you're writing formulas in Excel, you're coding. Now for the expand function, you'll see that we've got four arguments. These two are bolded. And what Excel is saying, hey, you got to have at least two arguments. So definitely the array, because that's going to tell Excel the array of data that you're working with. And then you either tell it how many rows you want to end up with or how many columns you're going to end up with. So you've got to either have, you got to have the array for sure. And then you got to have either rows or columns. So for the array, it's this array, A2 through C10. Now, the name of the table is new members, and that's why you see in the array it appears new members. Now, for the rows, you're going to bring in all of these rows. So you can just leave that blank, and Excel is just going to bring in all the rows that are in that array. Now, for the columns, we have three columns in our original array. With the new array, we want that fourth column for salaries. So here you enter the number four, and then that means you're going to have four columns. The pad width... That new column that you have, it's not going to have any values in it. It's empty cells. So when you have empty cells, you're going to have this error message right here. And A, well, we want to display something. We want to pad that error message with something. So we're going to say new clients because our new clients is this current array. And we don't have salary information for them yet. There we have it. So now we press OK. Boom. And you should always hear angels when you get things right in Excel. All right. Did y'all hear the angels? Let's try this one more time. Angels. I hope you heard them. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Now, take a look. This is your formula right in here. The array is the new members table and then you want it to end up with four columns and you're displaying new clients in the cells that contain no values so you see you entered the formula in one cell and it spilled like from here it spilled on down that's what i love about array functions because I don't have to sit here. I got to copy it down this way and copy it all the way across and copy it down. I didn't have to write like four different formulas and copying them all the way. I just write it in one spot. You put that formula with that array function in one cell and it spills on down. So now let's go ahead and bring in 
this information right here, our new clients, we want to stack our current new array on top of the current clients that we have right here. And we're bringing in the salary info from them. So to do that, we're going to nest the expand into in a V stack. So I'm going to click right here after the equal sign and I'm going to type in V S there's the V stack and it vertically stacks arrays into one array as opposed to H stack, which does it horizontally. So now I'm going to press the tab key, boop, tab right into it. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> now I got to tell it which is my first array. So I'm going to click right here. Okay. I'm going to click right there. And that's going to make it so highlight array one in my formula. All right. So here we go. Click on array one. Boom. That's the array, the first array, my expand. So now I'm going to put in a comma. And now that other table is called members. M E. And there it is. And members. You see this icon right here? It tells me that that's a table as opposed to a function. Double click on it. There it is. And now I can close my parentheses and I can press enter. And now look at that. Angels again. Or you could just say, woo, yeah. All right. So now we want to sort. Now you're thinking to yourself, hey, Billy, you can just right click and sort. You know, just right click and sort A to Z, Z to A. You can't because you can't change part of an array. All right, no big deal. It's cool. We're just going to use a sort function. So just go right back up into your formula bar or double click where you have your current cell, wherever you like. Just click right after the equal sign and type in sort, S-O-R. There you have the sort, sort by a range or array. I'm going to tab right into it. In the array, check it out. I'm going to click on array right there. Click. That's the array, my nested expand. Now I go right here at the end, click, put in a comma. And the sort index is what column I'm going to sort it by. I'm going to sort it by, let's say, by last name. Ooh. I'm going to close parentheses, press enter, and there I have it. Oops, I sorted by first name. Notice that uh, I put in the number one right here to for the sort index. So I'm going to make the sort index actually number two, which is the last name column. Press enter. Boom. There's the angels. And the boom for the victory. How's that? I mean, you're just programmed right there. Right there. You're, that's coding. And you've been doing it since you've been writing formulas in Excel. Referring cells, absolute cell references. I mean, you like this kind of stuff? There's, I have a whole new course coming out on all these array functions and how to build formulas with them and use them. It's pretty exciting. In the meantime, that, that one's going to come out. That course is going to be September 1st. I'm going to have a sign-up page for you to pre-register for it. In the meantime, once again, go to don'tgetmadgetskills.com. Click on Live Classes and go to Excel Basics right here. And you're going to see the schedule of all our basics classes coming up. $5 instead of $265. It's about an hour and a half each session. So for example, the July class, it's five classes. It's Monday through Friday. Each session is about one and a half hours. And we cover the seven steps to Excel success. Just click on whichever month you want to attend and check out the curriculum. Or just ask people that have taken this class what they think of it train thousands and thousands of people. And now check this out. The moment you go to leave that page, you got the opportunity to enter the don't get mad, get skills world. Put in your name, put in your email address. You're going to get yourself 253 shortcuts. You decide if you want it for Mac or Excel or both. And then you're in the system. So then you'll have access to the community. And the community is great. It's a place where we can all help each other out. And here's where I post uh, streams like today's stream here and just all kinds of different things that we can do as a community so that we can 
keep on learning. So remember, my friends, I love you. And most of all, I want you to keep on learning. And don't get mad. Get skills. Aloha.